Okay, hey guys, it's Danielle from My Life Made Possible by Pop Culture, here with Madison and here with Matt Cohen, who many of you probably know as young John Winchester from Supernatural, but obviously he's done tons of stuff, web series, films, he's even produced a film that is now on DVD. So we're here to play a little bit of Wii and Wii Tennis, right? You said you like... Wii Tennis. All right, and now you, you, you're an athlete, you consider yourself an athlete, right? I consider myself an athlete. Okay, so should I expect any like pregame rituals or superstitious things you need to do no, in between? No, you know what? I just let my performance speak for itself. I will see what happens. Okay, and if you beat me, which I'm sure you will, victory dance? Sure, and if you beat me, vice versa. Okay, that's never going to happen. So I think that's a safe bet to make. So stick around, we're about to play some Wii Tennis. What, what would we call that kind of handlebar mustache? Awesome. 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 Okay, well apparently I didn't make it look enough like Matt, so he created this, and yeah, I think... Shades and a mustache, very important. I think it's just like you. When I, playing tennis. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's how you should go out in disguise when you don't want your fans to recognize you. I think I should just go out like that all the time, even when people do recognize me. Okay. Handlebar mustache and all. So, I'm gonna... Oh! Look there at you that. go, that's served. Right off the bat. Let me give nice. you that one. All right. Let me give you the first one. We're going to warm up a little bit. And hopefully I'll be able to distract him with a question and maybe get a couple points out of him. So, you've done film, you've done TV, you've done web series. Yes. What do you find the most fun medium or maybe the most challenging? Um, you know, uh, it's different. I mean, you know, web series, your, your creative freedom is, is far more elaborate than you know, in, uh, you know, prime time and cable television. Um, but film, you can really, you know, take time to concentrate, take your time and engulf yourself in a character. Um, you know, I prefer to do film. You know, every, every day that you get to work as an actor is, you know, obviously a great feeling. Um, you know, I, I just, I, I really like every aspect. I, I mean, I would prefer to just do film, but the TV world is fun in another, you know, in a whole nother realm, you're, you know, you're working fast, you, you have yeah. two, three takes to really, you know, just get locked in and the, the energy is always up. So you've obviously produced a <clears> film <throat> called The Outside. Yes. Um, what, how'd you get into that? Like, what made you say, I want to step behind the camera? Um, well, when I first did Boogeyman 2, I met this nice young gentleman named Michael Grazade, <laughs> who was on Young and the Restless, I'm mm -hmm. sure everybody's familiar. Um, and we just hit it off. We're buddies, we listen to music, we, you know, we hung out, we're like, one year from the wrap of this film, we have to do another movie no matter what. So, a buddy of ours had a script called The Outside. He was a pro surfer. It was going to be his first time, you know, feature directing. He had done nice. some music videos. And, you know, we were going to play best friends. It just fell, in, you know, it just fell into place. And, you know, we took whatever little money we had and pushed it out there and made a movie. You know, it's a surf movie told by surfers for surfers. It's not cheesy. Right. It's not fake. The director surfed the deal. Everybody surfed that that was behind behind the camera and in front of the camera. So, so is it? Um, it's on DVD now. People can go get it. Netflix, Amazon, yeah, all Net that sort Netflix, of thing. Netflix, Amazon, um, Blockbuster, Hollywood Video. You know, nice. all those video places. Nice. Have it, so. And you just oh. surf. Oh. Out. All right. Well, so obviously when you've done. Your films, you've done a lot of horror films, you've done a lot of genre TV also. Right. So is there something specific about that world that you really enjoy? Um, you know, it's not, it's just the world kind of finds me. You know, I've always seen myself as, or, uh, not really seen myself, but I've always wanted to delve into the darker roles. Um, you know, things along the lines of like Ed Norton from American History X. You know, it's not who the guy is, it's a dark role, it's a, a powerful role. Um, you know, and these horror movies have just, you know, just been what's what's bit me when I bit it, you right. know, it bit me back. So, you know, I boogeyman, I played like split personality disorder and, you know, supernatural when I become Michael, it's a, a mm -hmm. bit of a darker side. I like to be different with it, you know, I just, it's not that I don't like playing, you know, you're kind of like leading man romantic comedy. I just enjoy creating something that's not really there, right. you know, like a split personality killer that's going to yeah. slaughter his own sister. And, and how do you prepare for that? I slaughter as many people's nice. sisters as possible. Nice. Okay. Um, well, it's good I'm an only child, so. Yeah, so you're safe. That's good. And with Supernatural, I mean, you don't know if you're coming back yet for season six. Right. I don't know if I'm coming back. Um, I would be blessed to come back. It's a great show. The boys, Jared and Jensen, and um, Misha, every, everybody up there is incredible. From cast, crew, it's literally, you know, one of my top 
top work experiences. They just have a great program. You know, you got these superstars that carry the show for a couple of years, and it's just they're as modest as, as they get. Um, you know, so I definitely give them props up there. And have you thought at all about how you might, if you if they invite you back, how you would want to see John come back? Would it be a flashback? I would, would he... love to be a demon. Nice. Uh, I would love for them to, you know, either go back to the past and see young John or bring young John to the future as a demon. Uh, okay. I don't know. Eric Kripke, maybe um, a demon was in the and Sarah. past and he... And he got in young John's body and moved to the future. Who knows? Maybe mm. six to twelve episodes. I think episodes. he's stealing Sarah Gamble's job right here, ready to <laughs> stuff like that. You know the the storylines are so wide open and so creative on those shows. I just scored again. I know. Just in case you missed that. As the he's talking too, it's kind of scary. Um, that they can they can just go anywhere with it. So in doing all the genre work that you do, is there ever was there ever a character or a monster that? that scared you, or even that scared you as a child? Um, yeah, I'd have to say, as far as like being a child and remembering what was most scary would have to be Freddy Krueger. Okay, um, that's a good one. I, it just was always, I don't know, I just remember, you know, the bed thing and the water thing and the other, you know, the time when the guy's sitting in the truck and his claw comes through the seat and like, cuts him in the clutch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. And I haven't seen a new one. Um, but I heard it's great. Are you too afraid to go see the new one? Uh, Do you need someone to hold your hand? I may, I might need somebody to okay. hold my hand. Oh! Yes. That's what you said. I happened. was still focusing on the that camera. That was about 185 mile an hour <laughs> serve right there. Mm, okay. And Supernatural, you also do a lot of the fan conventions. I do. I you do did the, Jersey. Right, the and creation you just did conventions. Vancouver, right? Yeah. Well, yes. So why do you like doing those? Why do you like interacting with fans either in person or online? You, you know what? You, you have to look at your career as an actor as it's the fans are what give you a career and give you an opportunity to do what you love. So it's such a small thing to ask of myself to go to these you know conventions and just talk you know just be yourself just meet a bunch of people like who doesn't like to you know interact and mm -hmm. you know you never know what you're gonna get out of it you know I've, I've had you know people say that I've saved their lives before you know wow. like I've met you know this girl that was a cutter and I you know she it was a big deal for yeah. her to meet me and yeah. you know what's that that's an hour out of my life to save a life you know possibly is that's a great thing you can't put a price on it and it's the least you could do with your you know Celebrity, right? Know, Plus, I mean, you get a lot of free hugs. I've heard, so that's always nice. I don't know what you're talking about. I will not. I will not advertise that. I, so I shouldn't wear my free hugs shirt to the LA convention. You can wear your free hug okay. shirt and give them out all you oh, want. Oh no, that was not slow. I that feel was bad just, now. now. That I was just bad. mean. And all right. Oh wait, how did you? We didn't play three games. Oh, because you won the first two. So won the first I gotcha. Two. All right. Well, look at that. He won already. That is just, well, wait a minute. That's perfect. Victory dance. Victory dance. I won. I Victory won. Victory dance. You lost. You uh -huh. lost. I won. That's fair. In circles. Okay. I, I mean, I deserve it. He, I'm he comes so, over and beats so me. I am so grown up. That's it's fine. Ridiculous. We were the stars, Matt Cohen. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with it.